Welcome back, watch friends. We're talking about the world of Rolex. We're talking about mental health. That's right, mental health. And uh, the Rolex fanboys, specifically their lack of mental health or mental health issues. Um, you know, there is a, a very serious problem which we need to address, my friends, and that is uh, the Rolex fanboys. That's right, the Rolex fanboys uh, and, uh, you know, their uh, serious mental challenges. Uh, before we get into it, on the wrist we have the Rolex Day Date 36 Blue Dial. Uh, now, how many how many Rolexes is too much? Does it indicate a problem, a mental health issue? Yes. If you have, if you have uh, a collection, let's use the word collection, okay, meaning you have watches, right? They are all stainless steel. They are all stainless steel, or maybe they're all could be two tone, but mostly stainless steel. Uh, and they are all, um, you know, Submariners, GMTs, <laughs> whatever, right? You got five of them and, you know, five watches, all five are Rolex. You know, three of them are, are Submariners or GMTs and the other two are, I don't know, Explore, some other bullshit like that, right? Well, then, you know, you got a serious mental health problem because, you know what? You basically have no taste. You're a basic bitch. You're a newbie. Uh, and you're, you keep buying Rolex. Now, you might tell yourself, yeah, I buy it because, oh, I love it. I buy what I like because I could do what I... No, you're buying it because you're a basic bitch with no taste. And uh, you're making excuses for being a basic bitch with no taste uh, because you're not a subscriber to the Colonel's Top Secret Newsletter, which uh, reviews the world of serious watch collecting from vintage to modern, neo-vintage, Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet, yes, even Rolex. Now, I happen to have, I think, I don't know, four Rolexes? I don't know, maybe five? I don't know, I got, I got like four, I think. Uh, wait, one, two, four. No, I have five. I have five Rolexes. But, 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 you know, I have like probably 13 other watches, right? Or 13 watches. Now, I, I have probably one or two Rolexes too many, but, you know, it's uh, they're all very different. I got the, the day date. I have a the the King Tut, the bluesy. I have two turnographs. One is a vintage '60s. Uh, one is um, uh, '70s, and then I have the Yacht Master, the Yacht Master. Uh, so they're all very different. Uh, the one exception might be the turnograph. That might be a little bit too much or whatever. Uh, but you know, I didn't buy all of them at one time. You know, a lot of you basic bitches, you buy one Rolex after another. And why is it that you do it? The reason you do it is you don't know any better. That's the real that's the real honest answer. You don't know any better. You haven't opened your mind to the possibilities of other great watches out there. Maybe you can't afford or you think you can't afford it, right? Because look, here's the reality. Audemars Piguet, no matter how much I hate Audemars Piguet, the company, the people, uh, the Royal Oak is a great watch, okay? Um, you know... Even Breguet has some great watches. You got you got to really choose carefully. Patek Philippe they have some great watches. Also, you got to you know you, you got to choose also slightly carefully. But the problem is, you got to think. You got to think. You have to put thought into it. You have to analyze these things. You got to understand the right price. Of course, you will know the right price, and you will know you will know how to think properly with critical thinking when you get my free weekly newsletter click the link in the video description below that's right click that link in the video description below so you can get the colonel's free weekly email newsletter now back to your mental health problems so the reason you're buying these basic bitch watches one after the other is uh that you really haven't um you haven't kind of explored the world of watches and you just keep buying the same basic thing slightly different you know you got the black submariner you, you start you're, you're the basic bitch with the black submariner with the starbucks you're drinking a starbucks coffee and now you've upgraded to drinking blue bottle coffee and you got a uh, hulk or you got a uh i don't know whatever right or you have a gmt you got the root beer oh you got the root beer gmt wow wow amazing amazing right so you keep buying the basic shitters instead of you know, getting a, uh, you know, I don't know, Patek Philippe Travel Time or, uh, you know, uh, Audemars Piguet uh, uh, Perpetual Calendar or, uh, you know, AP, uh, you know, Dual Time, whatever, right? There's a lot of watches. 
that you just don't know about. That's right. It's unbelievable, but true. Yeah, the problem is, the problem is most of these watch companies or watch brands, people know a few basic models. Everybody thinks of AP. They think of, oh, it's the Royal Oak, the basic Royal No, they have hundreds of different models, different complications. There is so many different complications that you're not aware of, right? Um, so many. Uh, and you can find some incredible bargains, some interesting things. Uh, and uh, that is what a real collector does. Somebody who puts thought into it, who's a connoisseur, who's an aristocrat, right? That is what an aristocrat, a connoisseur does. Uh, the basic bitch just goes on YouTube and he watches the basic bitch channels, you know, whether it's Archie Luxury, whether it's, uh, you know, the Bark and Jackoff, uh, the, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, whatever. The uh, Who else is out there? The Paul Thorpe. Actually, Paul Thorpe. I don't think you guys... I, Actually, I don't know. We haven't seen him wear any watches. I, he's too. That's another problem. That guy's too scared to wear watches. I think he has some watches in a safe. But what is the point of owning watches if you're not going to wear them? If you're going to wear the, the Casio, right? But look, you, this is where I'm going with this. You, you don't want to take advice from these deadbeats, from these losers, or guys like this Archie Luxury, who's a uh, you know a fat sex tourist. This guy's a fat walrus sex tourist, a hippopotamus. Uh, he, he, he gets the Patek Philippe uh, travel, not the travel time, the uh, world time, the world time watch, which is basically it's a watch for sex tourists and sex traffickers, right? Tells you the time in third world countries like, you know, Romania and the Philippines. <laughs> and uh, he goes to Bangkok, bangers, he goes to bangers, you know, to consort with uh, lady, lady boys, right? And um, what does he do? He leaves that uh, world time at home. Why? Well, he's got some excuse about the the crocodile strap or this or that or whatever. <laughs> so, so wait. So I'm trying to understand this. You buy you buy the sex tourist watch, but you're not taking it with you, so that you know what time it is. You know, you know that's this is what I mean by by moron by morons out there. Now, look, the, the real professional sex tourist, he would have that watch. He'd get a bespoke rubber strap beautiful from uh, Jean Rousseau whatever and then you could wear it uh, on your sex tourism escapades but Archie is is not a uh, he's not a connoisseur uh, he's not a an aristocrat he's a peasant he's just a fat peasant walrus right and uh, when you watch Archie that's what you become okay so look here's here's the truth uh, you know show me your friends I'll show you your future show me the the live streams you watch I'll show you your future. You, know, you watch these live streams of a bunch of uh, you know middle-aged losers getting drunk in uh, in Bangkok. You're gonna be um, that's that's where you're gonna end up. You're gonna be a middle-aged loser getting drunk in Bangkok, uh, or or worse, or worse. Let me tell you something. These guys are all going downhill very very fast. I mean, they're deteriorating rapidly, right? Who watches that bullshit, right? Um, I want to watch people making money. I, I want to be around successful people. Uh, healthy people, right? I don't want to be around a bunch of uh, guys uh, who are, uh, you know, walking uh, heart attacks or something, right? You know, um, that is, uh, you know, it sounds harsh. It sounds harsh, but uh, that's the reality, right? You know, if uh, you want to be successful in life, you got to associate yourself with uh, successful people and not with losers. Uh, now, uh, I, sorry, I got distracted. The colonel gets distracted easily. Uh, probably as a result from a PTSD, you know, I was shot down over Vietnam a couple times. You know, I shot 26 uh, MiGs over the Gulf of Tonkin, and I, I did get shot down also a couple times. And, you know, spent some time at the uh, Hanoi Hilton with uh, John McCain. Uh, but that's time for another story. Anyway, so uh, back to the story of watches. Here's the thing, guys. You need to diversify. Oh, that, that's now I, I remember. That's how I got distracted. Right, I was telling you because you were taking advice from the wrong people. So look, here's the problem. The problem is if you keep watching those loser channels, you watch these loser channels, you're gonna end up like one of these losers who, um, you know, they got they wear the baseball cap indoors. Uh, you know, they get the, the the bushy beard uh, with the hair all over the face. Uh, and they're flipping shitter watches uh, like this tr uh, what's this guy uh, the watch teller or whatever it is time teller I don't know some something like that uh, that is what happens that is what happens to people who um, 
you associate with uh, the wrong crowd. They buy the shit of watches. They wear the Rolex with a champagne dial. The day date 36 with a champagne dial, which is a, it's really, it's a capital crime. It's a capital crime. So here's the thing. Uh, if you have, if you, if you, if you watching this video right now, you're watching this video and all of a sudden you, you recognize yourself. That's right. Look, the first step to, to, to getting better is to recognize you have a problem. It's like, you know, you're a drug addict, you're an alcoholic, right? You got to recognize you have a problem. You have a, a Rolex basic bitch problem, right? You're, you're a basic bitch collector with five of the same watches. You know, you're sending Archie these, uh, your, your so-called collections for this walrus, for this hippo to review your collection. I mean, can you imagine this? You're sending this, this fat slob, $50, so, with your picture of your five basic bitch uh, Rolexes, and he's gonna give you this whatever comment. Oh, oh wonderful! <laughs> yeah, what? Listen, if you send him a hundred bucks, he goes, "Oh, this is the most amazing collection I've ever seen." Right? That's that's what he's gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Now, I don't know. Some of you guys cannot handle the truth. You can't handle the truth. Uh, so look, the first step to getting better is you got to subscribe to the Colonel's free weekly email newsletter, uh, and you're going to be exposed to a whole world of watches and prices. So you'll know what is the price you should be paying for that. You know, Breguet World Time, that uh, Audemars Piguet Dual Time Royal Oak, the uh, you know whatever whatever it is, right? The um, Rolex uh, Submariner in gold. With a nipple dial, head only. That is the watch, right? So imagine this. You know, you got these uh, basic bitch. You got the basic bitch. Uh, you know, the, the the root beers and all that other garbage. When you could have something amazing, something that is impressive, and something that increases in value, rather than being a newbie, a newbie, a loser. You're a loser, a deadbeat. But you can you can turn all that around. You can turn that all around immediately, immediately. Okay. How? Subscribe to the Colonel's newsletter. Click the link in the video description below. It's absolutely free for the time moment, time being.